Hi, I'm Linda Treadway with EXP Realty, and this is my mom, Loretta. And we are here for the second in a series of videos that we decided to make, and it's going to be talking about the pros and cons of different generations living together. Now, six years ago, mom and I lived together. Six years ago, mom lived in your own home, and she had a beautiful home. It was in an over 50s neighborhood. She had a lot of friends and a big social life. But health issues started taking over, and she fell and she broke her hip. So we had to hire a service to come out and stay with her because none of the kids live in the same town as she is. And, and then after that, she had another fall, and then she had a mishap, and it just, things started to build. Now the problem that we had with the service was as soon as we'd hire them, they'd come in for a day and she'd fire them because they talk too much or they're too loud or she doesn't have any privacy and, and I get that. So that was a problem. But it really wasn't until a neighbor called and told me that she was concerned about mom living alone and then the insurance company called and said, we don't think she's in a safe environment. If you don't move her, we have the right to come in and take her out of her house and move her into a nursing home of all things. So at that point, I know how mom feels about nursing homes. That was not going to happen and she wasn't ready anyway. So we, I went over and I sat down and I talked to her about what was going on. And you can just see her head is just, it's just overwhelmed with, with emotion. So tell me, what were you thinking of at the time when we were talking about you first moving out of your house? I'm going to lose my independence. You're going to take my car away from me, and I just didn't like it. <laughs> so, and that is all perfectly reasonable. I think anybody would have those kind of fears. And being her daughter, I don't feel like that I had the right to tell her, you can't drive. I'm waiting for a doctor or somebody to tell her she can't drive, because she needs that independence. That's her last bit of being able to get out here and not rely on people 100%. But the point is, all of a sudden, because of that phone call, we are pressured now to hurry up and go find her a place. This happened the same thing with my grandmother, who, y'all were on vacation, she fell down the stairs, they flew her home, she ends up in rehab, and then the doctor won't release her until we find her an independent living facility where she's got care there if she needs it. So, our recommendation to you, and this is the point of this second video, is Talk about this early to your elderly friends, your elderly family members. If you're the elderly family member, talk to your children. Let people know what your wishes are so that we can try to do that as much as possible. There's nothing worse than having your entire life turned over at the drop of a hat and next thing you know all your stuff's getting packed and the rest is getting sold. We're going to be talking about that later too. I'm Linda Treadway with DXP Realty. This is Mom, and we look forward to you on our next video. Bye.